What's up you guys? Today I have such a highly requested video. I'm gonna be sharing all of my jewelry essentials from my everyday basic pieces to my statement items. Like, I'm so excited to break it down for you guys today. A few things before I get started. As always, everything mentioned in today's video will be down below in the description bar. And I also wanna mention today's pieces. They're all gonna be 14 karat solid gold. A few years ago, I decided to just invest in solid gold pieces because it's so durable. I don't have to take it off when I'm in the shower or washing my hands. I also have really sensitive skin, so just keep that in mind. And you know, jewelry is like one of my favorite things to invest and collect in. I put so much thought into a lot of my pieces and I'm excited to break it down for you guys today. So I love you guys so much and on that note, let's get started. So starting off with the earrings, I pretty much wear only huggies or hoops. For the smaller ones that I wear in my cartilage and my upper earlobe, even though these are teeny tiny dainty huggies, there's a lot of great variety out there. These are the Majuri beaded huggies. These are super comfortable. They have a lot of great beaded texture in the front, but it's still 100% gold. Gives a lot of extra pizzazz compared to like a really smooth, simple hoop. Then for a little bit of ice, I have these two from Etsy and Ale Chiante. One is just simple circular CZs, and the other one has a mix of circular and baguette CZs. These just give a little bit of extra glitz and glam. And then lastly, a really cool option for more of a statement. I have these dangle huggies that have a little charm off of them. What I really like is it kind of extends the look of them. They look longer, they have a lot of movement, definitely catches your eye. And these North Star ones I got off of Etsy. Don't worry, by the way, I'll include all the details or all the shops down below. And that same shop, I got this really cool statement huggy that has Pave CZs on the huggy and then double drop chains with CZs on them too. So what I love about these micro huggies is that they're so comfortable. You can sleep in them. You don't have any like ear posts poking holes in your head at night. And even though they're so dangerous, dainty and small. Clearly there's so many options you can go with to kind of amp up your look and complement the main earring on the lobe. So moving on to that. Hands down, my favorite pieces that I found this past year or two years, these are the Jenna Hoops from By Cherie, black owned brand, one of my favorite resources for fine jewelry. The ones that I have on are probably the ones you see me the most in. This is the medium sized Jenna Hoop. And then I also have the smalls. For sure, you know your girl's getting the large ones this year, but what I really like about these is that they are hollow. So they are so lightweight, but look at the five millimeter thickness. They give such a substantial hoop look. The diameter sizes are really generous. They don't have like the full 360 huggy effect. They have a simple hinge post here, but they're incredibly comfortable. They pack so much of a statement and punch, yet meshes so well with anything you're wearing. Like they're the ultimate hoop in my opinion. I will never stop loving these. And then for something more daintier. I have these bigger hoops from the Etsy shop, I think called Universal Jewels. This is a very delicate 1.5 millimeter diameter and this is a really nice, more feminine look. These are great if you want just a nice, elegant whisper of a hoop. So between those three hoops, I feel like I have all my needs covered. Like they look good with everything. Work, casual, date night, I'm so satisfied. And while we're on the topic of everyday essentials, today's video is sponsored by Evy. If you guys caught my best seamless underwear video review, you guys will know what I'm talking about. Evy makes some of the best seamless underwear. It feels like you're wearing absolutely nothing. It has such a beautiful stretch to it. The no slip grip is not like your typical, like sticky, uncomfortable silicone lining. It is a super soft velvety flocked strip. You have a cotton lining and it's very size inclusive. It has everything from extra extra small to 4X. But some of my favorite styles are actually their high-waisted options. Definitely a granny panty chick, but if you guys are not into that, we also have the high-waisted thong. Here is a sample of the high-waisted panty, but this is in complete mesh. Ooh. Yes, Valentine's Day. The packaging is so cute in these little cardboard packets. You can see the actual style and color in the front. Here is the regular brief in the Caribbean Sea mesh. Here is the high-waisted panty brief in strawberry ice. And then I have a matching set. This is their V-neck bralette. It has these nice removable cups. These are so seamless and comfortable. Very stretchy in the same material as the underwear. This one is in their limited edition Elsinar fabric and I have it with the matching regular thong. Last but not least, they also have seamless tank options. This is really great, comfortable at home, a nice first layer undershirt, and it has that same no slip grip flocking all along the edges to really just secure itself to the skin. There is a great mix of just very basic solid colors. They also have a great variety of nudes, but they also have really fun punchy colors. If you guys are interested in checking Evie out, I'll include all the details for you guys down below in the description box. 
I'll be showing you guys more styles next month, so be sure to tune back in. Moving on to bracelets, this is by far like one of my favorite investment pieces of all time. These are from Ring Concierge. I just got them during the Black Friday sale this past year. Here I have the diamond inlay bangle and their mini tennis bracelet. What I love about these pieces is that they are so timeless and classic. It has a really nice oval shape, thick gold construction with seven generous sized diamonds inlaid on the top. Just the top, by the way. For someone with petite wrists, the oval shape is so great because you don't have any excess spacing on the top or the bottom. It fits so well. I've done heavy duty stuff with it. It doesn't fly off due to this nice secure hinge clasp. And here is the plain diamond bangle from Ring Concierge. This actually came in after I filmed, but I love this one paired with the inlay diamond bangle. It's thinner, two millimeters, same super sturdy construction, oval shape, hinge, as a push clasps and dual safety latches. It is just the perfect complement, and I literally never take both of these off now. And then for a really beautiful contrast, the tennis bracelet is such a classic piece too. This mini one has a cupcake setting, feels very secure. I also got it in white gold because I felt like it really accentuated the diamonds and also provides a nice metal contrast to the yellow gold. I love it. It looks good together. It looks good separate. Like between these two, I feel like a very elegant woman. <laughs> then two other alternatives that I have here. This one is the one I had before I got this one. This is a nice, more affordable option off of Etsy. This one has a nice thickness, so it gives you the illusion of a nice thick bangle, but it's definitely lighter, thinner, and hollow, so you don't have the weight. It definitely has an oval shape, but it's a little bit more tall, so it travels up the arm more, but it was definitely a fraction of the cost compared to the Ring Concierge one, so I'll link this one for you guys to check out as a backup. And then last but not least, this one is a hollow paperclip chain bracelet and contrasts so nicely with a very structured bangle. In terms of chain bracelets, I love it. It's very bold. It has practically no weight to it because it is hollow, and surprisingly, even though it's hollow, this thing has not had any dents in it. Super good quality. I'll link both of these for you guys down below. Then for necklaces, don't worry, I've got a lot more to cover in a second. However, for the everyday basics, I've definitely been leaning more towards pieces that have a little diamond or like, icy accent. This first one is my favorite starting point for any layering combination. This is the Majuri single diamond necklace. I love that it's so inconspicuous, like you could barely see it. It's just a whisper, but it has just this beautiful, simple focal point right here at the throat chakra. <laughs> I love that it doesn't interfere with anything else. You can layer it with other minimal pieces, or it's like a nice starting point for anything that's more statement below it. Up in the ante, the second favorite is from by Cherie. This is her seven diamond necklace. This is like a diamond station necklace. What I'm obsessed about this necklace is that the way these bezel cut like diamonds are secured, it looks like it barely kisses the chain. It looks like it's just floating on the skin. Plus it's like introducing so much bling without it being too blingy. <laughs> and they have multiple options in the collection. I think there's a one, a three, a five, seven, nine, 11 diamond station necklace. And then the last pieces that I'll always wear is probably like a very simple chain with a pendant. I'm gonna go through some pendant options for you guys in a little bit, but my favorite one that I mentioned in the last video too is my dragon coin pendant necklace. This was actually a gift for my grandmother when I was really young and I am a dragon. It has a lot of sentimental value, cultural value, and I, I love wearing it as much as I can. All right, last pieces in the everyday essentials. I am a ring. <laughs> I'm gonna get to these in a little bit, but the most important one is the engagement ring, the wedding ring, and I have a new one to show you guys. You guys have probably seen a lot of my videos. This one is a Moissanite ring. I was wanting one so bad, something to change things up, because I have so much yellow gold. So this one is from a company called East West Gem Co. And y'all, the customer service was so good. I basically got to like customize this ring, pick the stone, like adjust so much stuff. They were so fantastic. So what I have here is a crushed ice hybrid moissanite oval cut stone. This is a 5.2 carat and it's set within their Levine band, which is a 1.5 U-prong pave band, white gold. I'm actually able to customize it to have a hidden halo underneath, but I took that off because I didn't want this to be too top heavy and spinning like crazy. I was even able to add spacer beads on the bottom to prevent a lot of the excess spinning and it's just so beautiful. It definitely exceeded my expectations. I wish they had more options like this when I got married a long time ago, but whew, Love it. Necklaces to show you guys. The one that you guys probably see a lot last year is my gothic letter necklace from Ring Concierge. I got this as like my mama gift. This one says Clark. 
my son's name. I love this one because it's really edgy. Compared to a lot of the modern stuff and, and cursive stuff that you see out there, I thought that this was just a nice difference. This is a really well-made, simple chain. Love this one to honor my son. The second one I have is a mama necklace, and this one I actually got custom made by one of my favorite Etsy stores. This is from Gold Store Jewelry. What's up, Sefa? He is my man. I can literally just show him a picture and he'll literally create a rendering and get like some of the most beautiful pieces to me at such a great price. This one I specifically wanted to be like dangling letters so they kind of have their own movement going on. And the letters that he made were really generous, nice and thick and substantial. So I love this as a nod to me becoming a mama. And then last but not least, the OG name necklace is by By Cherie. She has a small and large letter version. This was the large letter version. By Cherie is the creator of this look, this name necklace. Hers in particular are really cool because the letters are literally seamlessly like infused in the chain. They dangle in a stationary position. So compared to the mama one where they're kind of like swinging off of one jump ring, this one reads really nice and clean. Next category is chains. I love myself a nice pendant, a nice like focal point, but there's nothing like a simple chain. The ones that I absolutely fell in love with this past year has been a clean modern box chain. There is just the perfect amount of glitz, smoothness and a beautiful weight to box chains. They are also really great to hold pendants, but I've got a thin one so I can actually pair with pendants. And then I have this thicker one that is just a really great like long ending chain. I just think it's a really perfectly modern piece that you can wear for the office. Just really elegant, feminine, modern, gorgeous, love it. Then for some texture and like trendiness, I love me a Figaro chain. I'm sure you guys have seen these before. They provide a really nice airiness to to the look. I have a delicate one that's nice and thin, and then I have a thicker one, but I love pairing them together. Another really cool one that's very modern, and I feel like a nice mix between masculine and feminine is the flat mariner chain. This is kind of like an oval shaped chain with like a vertical line divider in between. It's got a thicker look and less airiness than the Figaro, but a nice alternative. And then my last favorite chain that you guys will see is a super big, thick, Cuban link chain. If I'm wearing like a graphic tee or something more edgy, I really love this statement piece. Even though this is a nice thicky one, this is actually a hollow chain. So it significantly not only reduces the price, but also the weight, but you still get that thick old chain look which I love. <laughs> I also wanna show you guys some of my favorite pendants I like to switch up. Anything coin shape I think is gonna be so classic, will look good with everything, but some variations off of the circular shape. You can do something oval. I have this Virgin Mary, that's a nice oval shape. I have this beautiful one from Ali Chianti called the Born to Fly pendant. It comes with its own chain, but here it just looks like a beautiful, delicately etched picture frame, a nice square shape with a lot of detail that you can see up close. And then I also love just a very simple cross. Any of those you can combine, mix and match or switch it out. Also one of my favorites to switch out is something that's got some jade in it. I have like one of the simple beaded wheels that looks really great like this or something like a flat coin. It just switches things up. It provides a pop of color. A jade means a lot to me. So next up, let's talk about rings. I love rings. I love switching it up. It's like stacking a different ring combination every day. It just makes me feel like I have a completely different new outfit. So let me go over kind of like my go-tos. The first thing I like to ground the whole setup with is like a big statement ring. I got this cigar band ring from Majuri. This one is like a very nice, simple, modern, squared off ring. It's very thin with the stretch opening on the back. This one's a very clean one. Then from All Rates, this one is a really awesome one. It's got a rectangular plate with an extra band. So another really modern geometric open air cut one. This one's also really, really thick and heavy and substantial. From Ring Concierge, I have the graduated dome ring. This one has a much more organic shape. You've got a lot of coverage here in the front, but feels like a very powerful ring with a feminine, softer touch. Oh, classic, we have a croissant dome ring. This one is from Majuri. This one actually has a complete empty crevasse on the inside, so it's not super heavy at all, but this one provides just a really kind of vintage Frenchy touch. I've also got this old Majuri one that's, I don't think they make it anymore, this one is a triple delicate dainty band ring. This one is like the more 
delicate of my statement rings. It covers a lot of brown, but it's very airy and very minimal. Then the next layered pieces, I like to add a little bit of bling, a little bit of ice. I got this from, I think, a company called Happy Jewelers, but this one is this beautiful, like, Pave CZ open heart ring. Very sweet and sentimental. I've got these brand new ones from Ring Concierge that I am just so obsessed with. I have the spiral diamond ring. I've got this, oh, I can't remember the name of this one, but this one has these really cool diamond shaped double layer diamond bands. And then my all time favorite that I wear every single day is the ring concierge claw rings. I have the basic solid gold, yellow gold, and then the pave option. So badass edgy, cool. It provides a nice airiness with that gap in the middle and just stacking together looks totally sick. I love these. And then I can't remember where I got this one. I think I got this one off of Etsy, but this is just a simple CZ with initial monogram open ring. Between the statement ring and then these icy details, they provide a really nice contrast together. If I wanna like up up the uniqueness, I wanna add a contrasting stone. So I've got like a jade accent or my birthstone, the garnet, like my Chinese name. I got like a pearl accent or maybe some moonstone. That just adds a little extra colorful touch to break up the diamond CZs and the gold. And then the final and last category, you guys, of jewelry that you see me wear all the time, I love evil eye anything. We need the protection. And my favorite pieces are from Gold Store Jewelry at Etsy. Hello, Sefa. He makes some of the best evil eye jewelry. I have several pieces from him. I have this really cool bracelet that features turquoise, navy, a circular stone charmed bracelets. This one's also really unique because this is almost like a bangle chopped up into segments. So there's flexibility there, but once you put it on, it does create a nice oval shape. This is like the glam evil eye bracelet. I also have this Hamza one from him with a Rolo chain on each side. This is the more delicate one. It comes in a variety of evil eye color options, but I got the navy one. This one features very delicate evil eyes throughout the bracelet. Love it. And then for the ring, this is an OG Majuri one. I will link several options for you guys there, but I love the white one here because it's very subtle, but you still got that evil eye protection. All right, you guys, that does it for today's video. This is my latest and greatest favorite jewelry collection that I wear the most often. I hope I answered a lot of your guys' questions. Be sure to check out the description box for more details, and I'm sending you guys all the love out there. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!